Hello guys and welcome back to another amazing video. And today we are opening the Orbital V box. Whoa, why is it like um it's fuzzy a bit. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I said this in an earlier video that I would open a, an Orbital V box. I'm not sure, but the next thing, I'll probably open an Alakazam V-Box. I searched for the Alakazam one, but I couldn't find it. But at least I found the Orbital one. So, um, yeah, let's get cracked. Let's get cracking with this. Uh, I saw two Vivid Voltage packs and the Darkness Ablaze pack in there. So, that's good news for us. And there's some type of Sun and Moon pack in it, too. So, whoa, this is, like, really hard to open. Wow. What type of glue did they use for this? Oh my gosh. R.I.P. my fingers. Oh man, that's really hard to open. Come on. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy today's video. Hopefully we can get some good luck. As you know, our last Pokemon opening was terrible. But hopefully we can get some luck. If we don't get anything today, that is fine. Because we still get the Orbital V uh, normal size card and the uh, Jumbo card too. So it's basically a win-win still. And I really enjoy making Pokemon videos for you guys to watch. Alright, I finally got the box open. So yeah. Let's set that aside. Now, whoop. So here we got an Orbital. Yeah, there's that. So let me just get the extra layer off. The extra layer. So yeah. Um, so we're going to move this aside over there. So here is the code card for the Orbital V-Box. There's the code. Now, let's check. Oh, it's a base set Sun and Moon. That is great. Now, uh, yeah, Darkness Ablaze and it's a Charizard art. And for our two vivid voltage, it's Zarud on both of them. Or Zarud, however you want to pronounce it. So, uh, I say we should get into a Vivid Voltage pack first. And yeah, let's get cracked open with this. Don't know why I'm using so many puns. You know what we're looking for? Those two Chonkachu cards. Or as he, or you can say Pikachu VMAX. A normal and Rainbow Rare. Alright, a uh, white and green code card. So we're either getting something good or a hollow. There's the code card for that. Uh, I'm going to say we're getting a hollow. Because last time we... Oh no, we are getting a good card on our first pack. So first pack magic. Let me scoot in a bit. A dark energy. Trumbeak. Nessa, Krokorok, Wilmer. Imagine we get one of the Pikachus on our first pack. If we do, oh my gosh, that would be great. Weedle, Beldum, Fanpy, Dusko, Reverse Matang, and we got an Aegis Egg Slash V. What a nice card, guys. And first pack magic. That's very nice. I really like this design on the card. So that's a good win there. Oh yeah. So let's show off the uh, jumbo card of Orbital V. Nobody cares about those unless they do a display. And uh, what? Oh yeah, you have to do that to get the normal sized card. But that was a good first pack magic, you know. 
pretty um, good so far. I am liking the box already. So there's the Orbital V card. So yeah, Aegis Flash V. Now, who says Darkness Ablaze? Let's do this. Hopefully we can get a banger on this too. Um, that was fairly easy. All right, so it's a green code card. We won't be getting anything here, but that's okay. We got the age slash V max. I mean V, not V max. There's the code card. As I said, I haven't been uploading a lot because school is back. So we gotta do four from the front. Electric energy. Familiar bell. Struggle gloves. Kalang. <clears throat> Sorry there. Uh, Qfant. Sinistee. Phoebus. Psimian. Fletchling. Reverse soul rock. And our regular rare is a Flygon. Now, let's get into another Vivid Voltage Pack. As you guys can see here. What if we get another pack magic? That'd be great, but usually our pull rates are usually um, one, uh, at least one V or V max per box. Yeah. So we're not getting anything here, but that's okay, because we got that age slash V. So let's crack on to this. Why do I keep saying that? All right, so we got a Dark Energy, Mag Cargo, Nessa, Swellow, Bird, Ninkada. We got a Voltorb. We got a rock rough. Wait, they use sun and moon Pokemon in um, sword and shield. I did. I didn't notice that. So we got a Wismer. Trubbish. Trubbish is one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, reverse Clefairy. And our regular rare is a very nice Flareon. That is a nice art. Now. We're on to the last pack. Sun and Moon. Base set. Before we get into that, I'm going to do something else. Now, I found out that um, Gar a reverse Gyarados from Evolutions is worth 100 bucks. And I have like one or two of those. I know I have one of them, but something I do not know is the price for a Charizard EX from Flashfire X and Y. That's what I've been wondering. Now, let's get to the last pack. Base set Sun and Moon. Hopefully we can get a banger. So let's get to this. Please. Oh man. See, I told you guys our pull rates are 1 V or V max per box. I told you guys. So there's the code card. But the Aegis slash V is nice. I don't have that. Or the Orbital V. So here we got a Psychic Energy, a Rodon Dex, Passimian, How, Crab Roller, we got an Eevee, a Sandy Ghast, the poor little sand castle. Over here we're going into a Poliwag. We got a Skarmory, a Reverse Great Ball. Would you look at that? 
and our regular rare is a masquerade. Why isn't the camera focusing? Anyways, that was a great opening. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And let's go over our pull raid and we'll go over the Orbital cards too. So we got that Aegislash slash V or Age slash, however you want to pronounce it. I really do like this card. Then we also got the Orbital V and we got its a jumbo card too, which is very nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video, but it's not the end. I've been getting into note card tower building. So I said, why not do a note card tower and the Pokemon opening at the same time? I'll be doing note card towers uh, frequently on the channel. Just so you know. So, yeah, it's basically a tutorial on how to do one. I'll be showing you the finished result at the end. But yeah, here you get that. You can do any structure that you like. For the base, I usually put three so it can stay sturdy. Put another note card on the top. Then I go for two on top of it. And yes, I already have these set up, so yeah. I can go pretty high, but right now I, I'm pretty stressed, so yeah. Probably won't go too high, um, so yeah. I know you guys can't see, but I'll show you a, um, what I have so far once I do this one right here. Uh oh, it's not balanced. That means it's gonna fall early. But we can still redo it. Let me do one more um, on there. And then I'll show you guys how it's going so far. All right, so just put this on the top. Yeah, so this is it so far. It's terrible, but I'm gonna go for like two more or so because I know it's gonna fall down like almost immediately <laughs> because it's unbalanced on the side. I'll just go for one more and then I'm gonna blow it down or it can blow down by itself, but yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, we opened the Orbital V box. We got the jumbo card and normal sized card of Orbital V. And we got the Aegislash V, or Aegislash V, however you want to pronounce it. And we also got a lot of duplicates of cards. Except for that Flareon. Where did it go? Yeah, except for the Flareon, I actually don't have that. Uh, one of my favorites is Soul Rock. Yeah, there's that. But uh, thank you so much for watching the video. It's come to an end now. Um, I hope you guys have a great day and see you next time. The, the next Pokemon opening is going to be uh, Alakazam V-Box, which is the newest Pokemon product for the cards, of course. But have a great day, and see you next time. Bye!